Hey there, I'm Joshua Bardwell, and I just want to take 30 seconds of your time before we get into the video in case someone has stumbled across this video randomly and doesn't realize what the context is. This is a playlist of videos teaching you how to build a FPV, first person view freestyle or racing drone from start to finish. If you've stumbled in in the middle, Go down to the video description, there's a playlist link, start at the beginning of the playlist and work your way through. If you are working your way through this video, I want to remind you that there is a Discord server, a Discord chat server uh, for Quad Camp Online. There's a channel over there where we provide support uh, for the people who are working through this project. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the YouTube comments, absolutely, but if you need a little bit more real-time help, you maybe will get better luck over in the Discord server. Link in the video description. I also want to remind you, thanks to Rotor Riot for helping make this project a reality. And if you are thinking of working your way through this project, you can get all of the equipment for, to build the quadcopter in just one credit card swipe from the Rotor Riot store. Yeah, you can buy the stuff elsewhere as well. One piece here, one piece there. Pay too much for shipping. Accidentally buy the wrong thing. You get it all. And there's a link to that down in the video description. On with the video. We're gonna start with the frame. We've got some carbon pieces, we got some hardware, and we got some camera mounting. Just set that aside for now. So the arms of the quadcopter. This is the bottom plate. You can see it's got some press nuts pre-installed. This is a reinforcing X plate and this is the top plate. And what I want you to do is take the bottom plate with the press nuts facing uh, down and I want you to take an arm and I want you to lay the arm on top of the bottom plate and find such that the two small screw holes here and here line up with the threaded holes. That's going to be done such that this little foot faces the back of the quadcopter. So if yours is like this with the foot facing out to the side, then that isn't correct. Then you just got to flip the arm over. I'm going to take some of these screws and we're going to be using the long screws. See, so we got short screws and long screws. We're going to be using the longer screws that came with the frame. We're going to take the X and you see the X lines up here. These screw holes are going to line up with these screw holes. And we'll put one screw through the X, holding the foot, holding the arm with the foot facing forward. We'll put that screw through the arm. And you should now see that, that lines up and through here. And I'm going to use a two millimeter hex driver to loosely insert these screws into the press nuts. And get that first one lined up. And just as soon as it starts to get threaded in, we can then get that second one lined up. There we go. Don't tighten them all the way down yet. Just leave that loose until we get the rest of the arms in. Again, another arm, making sure that the foot is facing forward. I'm going to slide that in. And get it lined up. And loosely insert one of the long screws from the packaging. Thank you. 
You see, I've done that one wrong. This one's correct with the little foot facing the back of the quad. This one, I put it in upside down. I gotta flip that over. Don't make that mistake. And now all of the arms are installed. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws inserted. Don't let the fact that these screw holes here are, don't let that confuse you or anything. Those are supposed to be there. Those are for passing through other screws later in the build. And having made sure that that's all correct, I'm gonna go ahead and cinch these down. Don't, you don't have to go crazy, but do tighten them good and snug. And that's going to bring us to the end of this step of the build. Check the playlist down in the video description to go to the next step, or if you're lucky, it'll even autoplay for you. See you there.